Um, so you want to rip the Wilco Band-Aid off? Oh, yeah, definitely. yeah, just to get it done, over with, and um, and and hopefully I, I, I still have a, a Wester fan when this is all done. Well, <laughs> here we go. The album is Yankee Hotel Foxtrot by Wilco. Mm -hmm. This is their fourth studio album. It was released September 18th of 2001. Ooh, that might have, that was a weird day to release something. Well, here's the thing. Uh, There's a little bit of backstory on this album. Yeah. I did I did some backstory. I did some research. The the record company that they were signed to at the time did not want to release the album. Okay, they thought it was too fucking out there. <laughs> no, no, really? I can't believe that. Unbelievable. Right. Wow. Reprise Records refused to release the album because they didn't like the end result. So the band bought the album themselves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And these guys were early adopters of streaming because they streamed it for free on their website. Okay. On September 18th, 2001. You know, considering that album cover. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, and I'm thinking, wow, that was... And some of the subject matter in the songs. I honestly didn't even pay attention to subject matter of the songs. All right. If they had it. This album, uh, it peaked at number 13 on the Billboard charts. Oh. It is certified gold, so in excess of a half a million copies sold. Okay, okay. Um, it's only that many knuckleheads. A critical smash. This album is ranked as one of the greatest albums of the 2000s. <laughs> I'm serious. Uh, I know I read that. I'm, I read that. I listed in, 1, 000, in the 1001 albums you must hear before you die. Well, great. Well, we, right. we don't got to worry. We're right. good. Right. We're good. It's in, it's in the, it came out of the bucket on the bucket list. And... Well, I mean, Jimmy Westerberg threw this in. And okay. This is not a surprise coming from Jimmy. Um, it, it's really not a surprise that Jimmy likes Wilco. This is like, they're like weird, like, college pop funk indie shit. Okay. Hey, don't, don't, you're fucking putting the cart before the horse. What? Overall thoughts come later, dipshit. Oh. Well. Why do you keep fucking bringing him? <laughs> I don't bring him, he brings me. Yeah. I haven't driven in the longest time. Son of a bitch. <laughs> you got me on a fucking technicality. Oh, Rolling Stone ranked this album at number three on its list of the 100 best albums of the 2000s. What were they fucking smoking? Pitchfork puts the album at number four of the top 200 albums of the 2000s. Like I said, this is a critical smash. This makes me think that, I mean, I don't know. A critical I'm, break. It feel, it, now, doesn't it feel like everything you've known is just now... Like, it flipped upside down. It's like, does not matter? Are we in an alternate universe? Like, number three, number four, and I've never fucking heard of this album before in my life? Are we that uncultured? Yes. Well, well you are. I mean, I what know. What You spent the entire 2000s listening to fucking Pearl Jam. Shut no, up. that was the 90s. Shut <laughs> up. That was the 90s. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Phytology was the last one, and that was 90s. Hang on. One more time. Shut the, Shut the fuck up, Batman! <laughs> <laughs> okay. One day, one day you gotta get him headphones so you can enjoy. Them. Yeah, I got. I'm, I'm actually. Yeah. Looking, I'm looking at a, uh, a headphone amp to put in here so we can all have headphones. Um, so, track number one. Emma, uh, I am trying to break your heart. I'm trying to break your ears. That's what they were doing there. I liked it. This song, I, my, this song was so fucking all over the place. It's 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 odd. It's oddly catchy. There was th th that fucking weird sound. It was like an out of tune piano. The only thing that it had going for it was the bass line and the drums were actually the only steady part in that whole entire song. Right yeah, for an opener, this was terrible. It was low energy, long, oh. long mumbling. I don't. It, it's got a, it's got a, it's got an odd, catchy, catchy vibe to it. I listened to the album twice. I, I listened to it three times. Hmm. Mm. And I made it through on one shot. Pink Floyd couldn't do that. Bill, what's on your, what's your thoughts between this album and Pink Floyd? I'd rather listen to Pink Floyd again 
I'm going to listen to this one twice. Not me. <laughs> Not me. Uh, but what I got from this song was he messed up a good relationship with drinking. Duh! He, you know, it, it, boozing it up kind of cost him a good relationship, which is kind of what I got from this song. I thought, I, I thought it was pretty good. This was like one of my, one of those songs I actually dug on this record. I um, next is we have Camera. Camera with a K. <laughs> yes. And this one, I actually, I, I enjoyed this one. Nice catchy tune. I liked the guitar. It wasn't bad. This should have been the opening track. This is a no for me. What the hell? It is an alternate universe. It is. This, it, this, 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 this last thing we're doing tonight is going to be all over the place. I this sounds like, the fuck is Thanos? See, now, this sounds like typical college rock. And that's why it's a no for me. Yeah, because, you know, down with college, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Fucking crush the proletariat. <laughs> no, no, no. Crush the bourgeoisie. <laughs> I, I, this, 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 this song bored me. I, I wish this was the opening track. I would have probably gone into this. If this one wasn't bad. I, I didn't like it. Mm. I, I didn't like it at all. Uh, what I got from this one is we're always going to see ourselves differently than the world sees us. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I honestly, I, I, I went more musically into everything. Where yeah, that's that. I, 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 well, I know how you guys rank things. You guys do lyrics. You guys do meanings. And, and with all this that. one, I really, and I do music. I so we all have it. We all have an integral part in the creative processes. Uh, next up, we have Radio Cure. I felt uh, this was. It sounded like the Doors, but without those beautiful bass tones. This is. The song was another one that was it just was, meh. Yeah, I, and that's what I said. It was like, if they would have like put something more into it, it would have been a, a like almost like a Doors cover song. Was there a xylophone in this or a fucking triangle? Oh, God, there was so many weird noises. Yeah, there's so many. But this song, just I just have ugh. It's, it's, it, it's, it's a no for me as well. Um, I, didn't, uh, I didn't really dig it. Uh, it's just meh. College I mean, rock. With this, with this experimental stuff, it could have been someone with like you know big earlobe rings just smacking their head on that tin plate. <laughs> Who the hell knows what it was? It's like some of this stuff was like the school of Yoko Ono. Yeah, that, you're not, you're not wrong. You're, you're not wrong. Uh, next, we have War on War. I like this one. I like yeah, this, this was one very well. catchy and had very, yes. very nice effects to it yep. as well. Yep. It's it's about it's a bouncy song. It's, it it's, is. It was it was actually pretty good. It kind of. Brought me back into the album. You see, now my thing is, my my, what I'm questioning is, what is his war on? Is his war on addiction? Well, well I don't. It's on war. Yeah. I don't know. See, and that's the other thing is, this album was written and recorded in 2000, mm -hmm. but released a week after 9/11. Yeah, right. But I think a lot of like the war on war stuff was probably because there was a lot of wars on drugs, war on... Every, everybody was always having a war on something. Yeah. And it was like a war on something, like a war on like an obtuse thing. Yeah. But what is his war on? About those wars. I, I, I don't know. It's, it's, the, the timing is just really mm -hmm. fucking strange. Oh, yeah. Well, mm, I, uh, look, I, I didn't even notice. We're like, yeah, negative images of each other. <laughs> About that, yeah. See, yeah. Yeah. white, black, yeah. white, black. I, I get, I get, I know what negative image. Okay. Wow. He, he is made, fucking he, dumb. No, no, he he made me seem like the dumb one. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? And hey, you, and, you normally, and you normally don't need help with that. You normally do a fine enough job on your own. I will get up and walk out. <clears throat> Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll get up and walk out. <laughs> oh, I thought that was him saying it for first. No. What well, you guys even sound alike? Yeah, here's you. <clears throat> Next, we have Jesus, etc. My, yeah, go ahead. Another one I enjoyed. I enjoyed this one, I too. I think this had violins in it. Yes. This yeah. one had a Wow! This one had a very country vibe to it and sounded vaguely 70s. Dexy's Midnight Runners is a college rock band. Ooh. Shut your mouth. I like Dexy's Midnight Runners. Well, I, I tell me I'm wrong. The, I, the lead singer, I, I think he was, he was in a country band before he founded Wilco, I think. 
Right. I'm not 100. percent I don't know. But this is about that one. That connection with that one special person could be all that you need. Mm -hmm. You know. Right. It could be Jesus, or etc. What's yeah. it, wait, what's etc.? Well, whatever the you Mary whatever, chain. No, whatever you find your. No, the Mary chain is on the pro soundtrack. <laughs> <laughs> the Jesus and Mary chain. Yes. You know, you look fucking more confused than normal. I, no, it's just. Mm -hmm. I made a reference to music that I don't normally make references to. Right. And that confused him. His eyes got glazed. <laughs> You're right. Uh, next, we have Ashes of American Flags. Yeah, this is another mellow one. Wasn't bad. Yeah, I like this one. Um, I, I took this one as, you know, consumerism is fucking killing us. I hated it. It just, okay. it just plodded on. I'm like, oh, come on. Wait, wait, hang on. The Pink Floyd fan <laughs> is talking about fucking anything plodding on. Eat a giant bag of dicks. It was at least, it was at least <laughs> pleasing to my ears when I listened to Floyd. Well, no, it's, it's not too bad, but I say you gotta be high to listen to Floyd. You do, you just have to be. No, yeah. I've been plenty high plenty of times. I do not fucking like Pink Floyd. When your mouth is plenty dry. You plenty high. <laughs> and I had, I done had a cotton mouth on too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I said, look, man, come now. Yeah. Oh, okay. When you turn into Bernie Mac. <laughs> <laughs> Bad about Bernie Mac. Oh, I love Bernie yeah, Mac. I love, Bernie, love Mac. Bernie Mac. That's right. You, you, oh, that was, now you can't. Now you can't hear it. I can't hear it. And that, that man passed away way too soon. Yes, yeah. he did. He was great. Uh, somewhere, I still have the original Kings of Comedy. Oh boy. Uh, it was him, Cedric the Entertainer. Who the hell else was? D.L. Hughley, I think, was on there. Wow, the Hughleys. Yeah. I think that. I think that. I think I have. I have that somewhere. But oh my God, Bernie Mac! When he's talking about Bebe's kids. Oh gee, I wasn't. Oh no, that wasn't him. That was uh, the guy with the big eyes. Yeah, but it wasn't. Uh, huh? Uh, no, Bernie Head was. I'll bust your hair to the white meat show. <laughs> oh fuck! Next is my favorite song on the record. Yeah. Heavy metal drummer. This one, I was really hoping for. Honestly, I I was hoping for the title to be very literal. So was I, I was really hoping for like blast beats and I, 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 just like a drum solo. That's what it was right. I, I, when I first saw the title, that's what I was hoping for too. But I was not disappointed. Yeah, in it was the song. still a good song. But do you don't do you don't think that was like college rock right there? That was a very campy college rock song. I I feel this song in my heart. Okay, I I get because we agree it's college rock. That's what. No, but, but, but he said he didn't like college rock because that's what. Why well, I said like, I don't like it. No, number two, we liked number two. He didn't like it. No, it sounded like number two sounded like bland college rock. This, the reason that this one resonates with me, you non-creative fuck, is that this made me hearken back to my days playing in a heavy metal band yeah, and yeah. playing Kiss covers. Yes, he hearkened. He hearkened. <laughs> yeah, I, it's Hark. a, I, my my notes on this are I miss the early days of of the musical journey. You know. You like the song because you can relate to it. You, 100%. There you go. 100%. And I, I thought this was probably, this was my favorite song on the record. Hands down. It did have a nice beat, I'll give it that. Alright. Number eight. Track number eight. We got I'm the Man Who Loves You. Yeah. I enjoyed this song. I enjoyed this as this, well. This had, a, this had a Beatles feel to it. Yeah. Yeah! Yep. I, and my, my other note on this is I kind of wish the whole album was like this. <laughs> I, I would have, you know, this yeah. was, I thought this, this was probably my second favorite song on the mm -hmm. album. This is a very good song. I loved it. It, it. it reminded me of, like I said, of a Beatles song. And I can see that. There's nothing wrong with that unless you're the Gallagher, unless you're the Gallagher brothers. You know what I saw? They might be planning a fucking reunion. Oh, I see. They can't. They can't. The, the, well, then someone put the, so, so, the guy's dead. No, they're not. The Gallagher brothers are still alive. Only one of them is. No, no, no. not Gallagher, the comedian. You fuck with. Oh, never mind that. You idiot. But I had a laugh. Someone put it in a post. Where are they going to put the show on? In a boxing ring? <laughs> yeah, no, no. Uh, Noel and Liam Gallagher of Oasis. Okay, fine. Jeez, jeez, guys. You lobotomized twit. I'm just trying to say that the Gallagher brothers 
where you know some people. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Stay yeah, because one was Gallagher and the other was Gallagher too. Yeah, exactly. T O O. Well, that's how you make money. Right. And they did. It. They it worked. Yeah. That and smashing you know smashing watermelons is big business. Um, this song reminds me of Jim calling anybody stupid. Pot kettle black. Mm-hmm. It's a good song. I enjoyed this one. Y yeah. It, it, I, I liked it too. It was a good song. Look, look inside before you criticize others. Mm -hmm. Be more like me, and don't criticize people. You never do. I never do. I'm wonderful. Yeah, your your glass house don't even have no windows no more. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have a house. I, yo, little glass houses for you. Wait, no, that's pink houses. Pink houses. <laughs> pink houses. Ah, <laughs> uh, shit. Poor places. No. All right, I have this written in Rick's handwriting. Boring. <laughs> This is about this, this. This is about we are not in control. All right. You know there there are those in power, lording over us and always will be. Is where I took this. From. Okay. Okay. Is, that's right. what I took from this. I liked it. I liked the message of the song. All right. And last but not least, we have reservations. Um, another one very sleepy tune. Too long. I can't, wait, I can't wait. read my writing again, but it wasn't good, so... I got it as a yes. This is about, de uh, you know, about dealing with depression and self-loathing right. and, and, and self-doubt. And um, believe it or not, I feel this in my heart of hearts. You know, I, I, I struggle with it every day. Yo, Eric, what's up? Hang on, I gotta say hi to Junior. Hi, your. Ah, it didn't even type. <laughs> oh, for God's sakes. I wasn't clicked in. What's up, Junior? Well, we're not going to type. Um, but anyway. What did you guys, what's your, uh, well, I'm going to give it, what's your take? I'll give it a five. Overall, it was, I mean, listenable, but I really don't want to listen to it again. I'm fine with the first through and I'm. It's it's not my genre of music. This go ahead, go ahead. No, you, you can. No, go ahead. Uh, I'll, I'll, he's I'll, not going to yell at you. Come tree, on. a three, a three. Okay. Oh, I thought he said tree. I'm like tree. now he I did not, say tree. Yeah, but now I was tree. like now he's just doing abstract objects. Yeah, this. Okay, I can get that. I can't believe they ranked this album that high. I really can't. I can. It was a different period back then. I, I can. I can see where they're coming from with ranking it this high because. This really is, for as much as we may not personally like the record, yeah, it yeah. really is indicative of what the time frame in music really was. And my overall thought on it is... Is? I give it a six. Okay. I'll give it a, I'll give it a six. I, I liked more of it than I didn't like. Now, that being said, is Wilco a band I'm going to go out and investigate more of? Probably not. Probably not. But, once again, I probably wouldn't turn it off if it came on the radio. Mm. I'm, I'm not going to just say, no. I'm not... I'm not, oh. it's not... It's not Pink Floyd bad. I just realized some of these songs are going to show up in my daily playlist now. Yeah, but them. Yeah, well, don't feel bad. I watched. I watched it on you. When I watched the stuff on YouTube, the, the shit that comes up after the fact. <laughs> it's like for for a month. I'm still getting like f flashbacks from all the shit I listened to over a month ago. Oh.